What is good, Greg Gang? I'm right inside my garage right now, back here at the fishing self, and yes, my eye is looking funky. Anyways, we're going crappie fishing tonight, and we're going to try to do a crappie fish fry or something like that, catch and cook, you know? I got this rod right here just for bass and stuff, then I got this rod right here ready for crappie. But the important part for the beginning of this video is that I don't have that much crappie stuff. Like, check it out. This is my entire pan fishing box, so for anything small. I got some of those, but not many options. I got some hooks but also not many options. I got like four little artificial baits, but then I only have three bobbers. That's the biggest problem we're facing right now. I don't know about crappie. I've not really targeted them that much, but let's say that I catch three crappie that break me off. Probably won't happen. But let's say I catch three crappie that run me into a stump. Then I lose three bobbers. I don't have any more bobbers. So I'm going to go to Walmart right now. I know I'm going to get some bobbers. I'm probably going to get some more stuff. But as of right now, we're just going to go to Walmart and uh, we'll see whatever we buy. I definitely know I'm buying more bobbers. Besides that, I don't really know yet. We'll figure it out in a minute. See you at Walmart. Boy. Okay, guys, Walmart is playing music very loudly, so we're going to have to cover this up with some traditional Mexican music, so enjoy. Also, we're looking around. I don't have that much for crappie, dude. I need some crappie stuff, and I'll tell you right now, full supplies ain't going to help the objective. Yeah, I am a soldier. Huh? A hand massager. Let's see. I know I need bobbers, and I think I'm going to get some hooks. There's a very, very specific bobber I'm looking for. I don't want to use just any bobber. I'm looking for an extremely specific bobber that I don't know if they even have. I don't think they do. We may be in bad shape, boys. I'm looking for the ones that jiggle, but that ain't them, old son. Dude, this Walmart may not even have them. We would get us some rooster tails in there, at least have something to fish with, but by golly, you got to get in here and do a stinging background check to get them. I ain't never seen somebody lock up something that's 88 cents this much. I don't even know what to do. They got a crappie fishing kit right there, but by golly, same thing, background check. I ain't even 21. I ain't old enough to buy it, apparently. You can buy those paddles, though. How much is it? 10 bucks. That ain't bad. No. Well, 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 Walmart, thanks for uh, absolutely nothing. Anyways, we are back from Walmart. That trip didn't help us at all, but I'm actually fishing out of this boat. So we're going to let this thing down if we can and load it up and take it to wherever we're fishing. I think this way will go in first. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect, kind of. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to load up the rest of it. Kanye is going to gobble until it's time to go to bed. So as long as I'm here, Kanye is pretty much not going to stop gobbling. What's up? He gobbles way too much. Gobble. Gobble, gobble. I don't know about him, dude. He, he got a goblin problem or something. Now that we got away from Kanye, we we're actually trapping minnows. I didn't know if I told you that. I didn't show y'all yesterday, but I did come out and set three minnow traps. And here today, we're going to check those said three minnow traps. Uh, this one's kind of cool. It's actually a deep hole that I've never trapped before. It might actually be a pretty new hole, so I don't know if, what we'll have in it. I baited them all with dog food, so pretty fair. And in this one, it looks like we don't have anything. Well, we do have something. We actually have a lot of something, but they're just not minnows. They're crawdads. Crawdaddy. Now, as for crappie, I don't really know if they like crawdads or not. I don't, I, if I had to make a guess, I'd say no. Because crawdads are scary. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's just the ones we can see. We have more crawdads than I've probably ever caught before. Let's count them. Why not? Oh my goodness! We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. That's a lot. Oh, dang, there's twenty. We'll just grab them one at a time and toss them back in. I guess here's here's the crawdads that we're dealing with. Come check it out. Up, oh, he's pinching my blue jean. Listen here, boy. You let go of my Abercrombie blue jeans. You're about to pay for it. I would let him pinch me, but like, they hurt. Yeah, they hurt bad too. Like they actually hurt pretty bad. The big ones can really hurt. But as long as you grab them like kind of at their hips, I guess, they can't get you. Dude, calm down. Terrifying, dude. Terrifying. They are scary. They creatures. are scary, dude. But yeah, grab them right there. They can't get you. Grab them right here. They can get you. I'll toss them back in. I ain't got nothing to do with them. Here's one trying to get away. He's way down here. Eh, he seems like he's got it figured out. He knows where it is. There's a little bitty one. All sizes right here, boys. Some's lively, some not lively, some care, some don't care. Look how little this one's pincher is. Are you going to name every one of them? No, I ain't even going to name any of them. Here's the thing I want you guys to do, though. Comment below what can we do with these because we have plenty of crawdads. But we don't exactly have that much to do with them. And I'm probably not going to eat them, so don't comment that. That looks like a big one. This may be one of the biggest ones. 
You know, the camera would focus. There's one at your boot, your Braden Price boot. You know what I'm naming him? What? Braden Price. He'll pinch me if I ain't careful. See you, Braden. That's a good little minner hole. I'm surprised there ain't no minners there. Anyways, we'll catch you at the next one. You should make a minner t-shirt. I agree with that. I am the uh, utmost and foremost. Oh, snap. I am the number one minner trapper in the world. I don't think anyone, you know, denying that, but I am the minner trapping authority of the Nate of the world. So if anybody has any questions about minner trapping, you know who to hit up. That guy. Me. All right, in this trap, we done a little bit better. We got one turkey feather. I have no idea where that came from. And then, um, we, um, mm, we'll take it. We have some small bluegill, believe it or not. Any crawdads in this one? Oh, of course. 100 cents, baby. Oh, yeah, I done seen one. Let's see, I'll just pull them out. I don't know if I'm going to take the crawdads or not, because like I was saying, I don't know if they like them. I'll probably just grab the crawdaddies and toss them back. That one looks like kind of mean. Kanye? No, look. This, look, he's trying to pinch it. Dude, yeah, I know. He's, they are mean. We'll get rid of the crowd addies. And then big minners like this, like Jamal, we'll take him with us. Jamal? Well, the, the other one was Jamal. This one's Jamami. This Jema one's Jamane. Does she make the, like, the syrup? No, that's Jamami. He's going to attempt to destroy this thing. Dude, you ever forget war plotters? Just come get one of these babies. Watch him, dude. Get a close-up on this. Boom. <laughs> Look at this big guy. You know who? what his name is? Charles. No, that's Chet. That's a Chet if I've ever seen one. Check this out. Check this out. Ready? There was a little bluegill around here somewhere. He's right there. Where? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a really small one, but you know, yeah, I'm just gonna let him go. I can't even put that thing on a hook, let alone catch a crappie with it. Well, we have dogs wanting to come to the trap. We only had two minners. I don't know. They're good minners, though. We came and checked it this morning just, you know, make sure that we had some, if any. And I'm pretty sure we had about nine. But now we only have three. They had to escape. Or the crawdads. The crawdads definitely eat minners. That one looked feisty, so I think it was partly his fault. We'll put the blame on him. Makes us seem like better minner trappers. Better. You're the best. Got that right. Got minners. Got Chet Daniels or not. What did he say the weather's going to be like today? Who, Chet? Yeah. Well, Chet Daniels didn't know what the weather was going to be like today. Because he died in action yesterday. You watched yesterday's vlog, you'd known that. Being a weatherman in Kentucky is very hard. One more check to trap, or one more trap to check. All right, now this is a Goldilocks, okay? This used to be my number one spot, and uh, we may get lucky, and it may just be my number one spot again. I'd imagine it should be, because we only got three minors out of that last hole. That ain't good. Let's hope it's a good spot. Let's hope it's better than the last one. Otherwise, we ain't going to be fishing with much. Oh, son, we got big ones in here. I think they may be big, too big for crappie, but it'll work. Some of them will definitely be too big for crappie. That's we may a lot use them. them for catfishes. Yeah, buddy. Crawl dead's in here? A few. I can tell you right now, dude, there ain't no crappie gonna be eating that. That's about five inches, six inches long. Ain't no crappie eating that. No. Big catfish might. It would be a good catfish bait. You should have took those to Florida. You think they could have survived? I'm not saying that. An 8,000 mile trip to Florida? I mean, I ain't gonna sit here and tell you all that info now, but... There's crawdads in here somewhere, and if I ain't careful, I'm gonna grab it. And you're gonna get pinched. Dude, I'm telling you, there was a crawdad in here a minute ago. Oh, he's in the trap. Yeah, there he is. Come on out here, bud. Is that it? Yep. All right, we'll send him in with a flower. He can go and press the ladies. All right, now that's done. We're going to head on down to the pond now. We got a little bit of bait, but I think we're going to end up buying minnows. So. What's my excuse? I'm going to blame it on the trout of 1879. I, mean, I think we blame it on the crawdads. That's a good one, too. We'll do that. It was the crawdads, dude. Okay, guys, we are in the place. We are with... Right now, you can't tell who you are, but... We got Seth here and Devin there. What's his name? And then we got Isaac way over there, but he's pretty far. He may not be able to see him. Fish right here. Oh, he's got a fish already. Anyways, what we're doing, I've kind of already told you this, but we're trying to catch some crappy fish. That's a crappie. Is it? Yeah. White or black crappie? That's White. White. No, nope, this is black. All right, tell me what it is and how you caught it and what's his name. This is Jerry. Uh huh. Jerry will be eating today. He yeah, a, we're doing a fish fry. He's a black crappie. I'd say he's probably nine and a half. Nine and a half what? Feet. Hey, show us what rig you're using whenever you pull it in next time. All right, I'll probably catch a fish in there. That one's bobbing, ain't it? I'm real this one. Right. Whatever rig he's using, I'm probably using the same one. We got the, I call it the childhood specialty, because this is how I started fishing. Mm -hmm. Basically, we just got a little hook yeah. with a minner, courtesy of Kendall Gray Outdoors, or whatever. <laughs> a little split shot sinker, and then a, a bobber. bobber about Dude, I went to Walmart. They didn't have any bobbers. Really? Yeah, I'm stuck with two. But yeah, he went and bought minners. I don't know what that's about. And they're about an inch long. I'm about throwing a big chub, catch about a 60 pound catfish or something. Yeah, how deep did you put yours? I put mine about a foot and a half. No, go about. 
two and a half, three foot. About 24 feet. What am I forgetting? I'm forgetting something. Oh, yeah, I need to start fishing. That's a good point. So I need to put this about two and a half feet. That'll work. I'm using my minners, so mine are decently sized big, and y'all already know what I'm using. So we can probably eat some of these minners, honestly. I got some pretty big ones in here. Well, like contestant number one, Jorge. Dude, maybe this is a sucker. I don't know. Minners, minners. All right, I'm just going to yeet it out there towards that log, and uh, hopefully something goes under. <laughs> That was not very far. Anyways, you may be asking, you're probably not. Kendall, dude, how did you win this fish fry? Well, I actually made a bet with him. So he thought he was gonna go out one day and kill a turkey. And I was like, no you're not. And so we bet a free fish fry for a KG Jaeger Pro Scope. <laughs> and uh, well, you see who's, you see who won. We're getting a free yeah, fish but fry. but I killed a turkey the next day. I still get free fish fry. <laughs> KG, you having trouble over there, brother? Yeah, I can't figure out how to put the bobber on. I think I got it, though. All right, what kind of distance are we looking at here? Uh, probably like 100 yards. There we go. I don't know what's up my reel. Probably been nice if I had line on it. All right, guys, so far, we've not done too hot. Right now. They over there. How many fish we got so far? All right, so we got five or six crappie. That's enough for a fish fry, but okay, gee, he's not made much of a dent in the pop fish population at all. So we're going to ditch the bobber, ditch the minnows that we worked all day to get, and we're going to start using this thing. We're going to troll a little bit. Just literally just hang our thing out the side and let the bait do the rest. Mm, the water is pretty clear, so I'm thinking, honestly, we go with this thing. I think that can seriously do some damage. It's small. It's shiny. It's about the perfect size for a... A crappy fish? Yeah, let me tie this on. We'll troll around a little bit. Here I come, crappy fish. Ain't getting away from me. Maybe, but hopefully not. Bobber's coming off. Minner's coming off. Minner is being set free. You're lucky with this one, buddy. Hook is coming off. Weird looking crankbait going on. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, this is going to be nice. This is going to be real nice. Toss it out there. Reel it back really slow. Or just turn it on one and drive around the lake. Dude, I've already caught a fish. That's not even fair. It's a crappie. There's something messed up with these fish. Why are you eating a Dollar Tree headset looking crankbait, but you won't eat my real minner that I literally just let go? What do you want me to do this thing? Okay, that'll work. Come on, that big crappie. Dang, son. Calm down. Calm down, son. KG is on the board, son. Let the trolling begin. We grab it. We toss it and we turn it on one. Here we go. That's basically all we do. We just sit here until another premium black crappie bites. Pretty much it. It's not that complicated. Oh my gosh. Okay, is it a crappie or a bass? All right, it's a bass. Okay, I was about to say, I was just reeling it in because I had quit trolling for a minute. You know, this bait's actually catching on pretty good. I didn't really expect that to happen. I was just about to switch baits, but honestly, I think I'll probably just keep this. I don't know if this has anything to do with anything at all, but I've only caught them whenever I'm actively reeling it myself and not trolling. So let me just cast around a minute. Maybe I'll uh, hook up on like a giant 16 pounder or something like that. But you know what? We'll just see. The problem is that it just likes to do donuts, okay? It doesn't actually like to dive like an actual crankbait. It's 100% defective does not work at all but it has caught two fish so what do i know i'm definitely switching since we're going for crappie and i don't think they're super skittish or anything i think i want to go with this one i mean they're definitely not going to have a hard time finding it. they're definitely going to know it's there there he is what did i tell you this thing's going to kill him this is another bass but honestly i'll count it i'll count it as a crappie so um uh yeah great well uh, two crappie in the boat let's go all right guys so uh we got some gooses over there behind us, as you can tell. All right, long story short, um, we didn't actually catch enough crappie to do a fish fry. We, okay, we did, but they had a hole in their net. That's one of the best excuses I've heard, dude. I'm going to use that one, too. But they really did. They did catch a bunch, but they also didn't come in with a bunch. So I kind of believe them about the net. I caught one, though. It's, it's a premium. As for the minnows, I used about two of them, so I'm just going to let the rest loose here. <laughs> Goodbye, buddies. It's been a blast, but I'm going home. <laughs> and y'all could stay here. Um, I think that's it, hopefully. Anyways, guys, long story short, I think I've already said this, but I'll just say it again. Um, we just, we didn't catch enough to fry, but we did keep the ones that we did catch because we needed them out of the pond anyway, so we go ahead and filleted them up. We're going to freeze the fillets, and we're going to be coming back and doing the full thing. We're going to have a fish fry soon, so subscribe if you're not already, if you care about that. If not, I don't know, I guess you don't have to subscribe, but. And comment below, what do you think me and Ethan should, you know, do with some crawdads? Because as you saw, we had literally like as many as we'd ever need. So comment below what's, what are some cool ideas we could do with them. And don't forget, I'm not eating them. So don't even comment that.
They're disgusting. Bye.